Well, tonight in segment two, this Valentine's Day, watch out for a sweetheart swindle. It's just one of several scams that could rip you off as we head into spring. Channel 2 problem solver Pete Knutson has the top five spring scams and how to avoid them. They could end up here, but that doesn't keep scammers from lining up in the springtime to target unknowing victims. I'm amazed how easy it is to get scammed by somebody. Karen knows all too well about springtime's number one scam, home repair. She paid several hundred bucks up front. I've always said all my life, you know, when I would hear about people scamming people, I would have never done that. I would have never done that. Well, let me tell you, I did do that. Experts say many times, victims are approached by scammers going door to door. They're the travelers, they're the fraudsters that are here to, to take your money up front. And in most cases, they disappear, says Tulsa fraud detective Cheryl Compton. Or they'll do the work with inferior materials, then demand more money than the original estimate. And after this year's ice storm, says Detective Compton, watch out. The home repair people are going to be out there in force. Spring scam number two, crooks moving from town to town, sometimes posing as repairmen or just someone needing help. One will distract a homeowner. While his buddy is in the house, pilfering through whatever. And now, uh, Detective Compton says there's a new twist. Seniors get a call, supposedly from Medicare or Medicaid, saying someone will come to their home to help them enroll. They prey on people. Which brings us to the sweetheart swindle, spring scam number three. Detective Compton tells us about an elderly victim in Tulsa who had just lost his wife. A young woman used an online matchmaking site to meet him. She steps right in and wants to be the helpful little person. And Here, give me your checkbook and let me help you write your checks. Well, yeah, she was writing the checks all right, but she was writing them for everything else. And, and she emptied his bank account in a matter of a month. Your bank account could be empty, too, if you become a victim of spring scam number four. Tax scams bloom wild this time of year. There are fake emails and phone calls, supposedly from the IRS, advising would-be victims they have refunds waiting for them. They only need to give up some personal information, which can lead to money and identity theft. And with plans in the works for federal rebates, police say be especially leery. Scammers are always looking for a, a new way in. And, of course, the government with the rebate, the legitimate rebate, gives them an open door. Gives them, you know, carte blanche to go, hey, here we go. And scam number five, what would spring be without spring break and those travel scams? One, you don't have a real legitimate ticket and no, there isn't a seat on the plane for you or a seat on the boat for you um, type of thing and then you've lost your money. Karen says she certainly knows that feeling. You know, I've got a list of questions in my mind from now on. And she'll get answers before paying anyone. So when the winter season changes to spring, scammers don't line up to make it open season on her. Here's how police say you can protect yourself. Never give money up front to a repairman who comes door to door. Check references with friends and the Better Business Bureau. Never give personal information over the phone or internet. And remember, the IRS never emails or calls taxpayers unless you've asked them to. Pete Knutson, Channel 2 works for you.